In this video, we are covering the ruler tool. The tool can be accessed either from the quick access toolbar or by going under the tools menu and choosing ruler from there. Once you choose that, this window is going to pop up and you have to keep the window active in order to use the tool. There are six modes to choose from. Depending on which tab you have selected currently, this is the mode that you will be using. Under each mode, you also have the ability to choose the units that you want to be measuring with. So just by clicking on the drop down menus under each mode, you can set your units of preference. Now with the ruler active, I'm going to start with the line mode. This mode allows you to measure between two points. So all you have to do is to left click in the viewport once from where you want to start measuring. This will create the first point and then you just have to drag your cursor out to where you want to make a second point and left click there to make the point. If you want to make any changes to either of these points, just hover over them with the cursor and then left click, hold and drag to move the point around. And if you want to clear out of the measurement that you have created to start a new one, you can either just left click in the viewport to start a new measurement, which is going to delete your previous one, or you can just click on the clear button under the ruler window. You can also convert the measurement that you have created to a path object if you want to save it for later. You can do that by just clicking on the save button. This will immediately convert it to a path. You can give it a name and a description and you can also change its style and color and you can access your measurements under the measurements tab. With the ruler tool, if you create a measurement using one mode, you can still switch on the fly to a new mode and your earlier measurement is not going to be deleted. So for instance, I'm going to make a measurement with the line mode and now I can switch to the path mode and I can still keep using the ruler tool and my earlier line measurement is not going to be removed. So I can make here a new path measurement for instance. However, if I click on the clear button under the path mode, then all of my measurements are going to be deleted, including the one that I made using the line mode. Now, if I want to make any changes to the line measurement, all I have to do is to switch back to the line tab, and this will allow me to edit the points. Now that we've covered the line mode, we can move on to the path mode. This mode allows you to make measurements between multiple points. This mode will allow you to make measurements between multiple points. So if I just keep left clicking in the viewport, I can continue making segments to this line and it's going to calculate the total length of that line. Through this mode, you can also access the elevation profile tool in Google Earth. So if I were to click on the box where it says show elevation profile, we can see that the elevation profile that our line is cutting through is going to be displayed at the bottom. I have covered the elevation profile in its own video. So if you're interested to know more about it, then please make sure to check out that session. To turn off of the elevation profile, you can either click on the crosshair button in the top right corner of it, or just untoggle the show elevation profile box under the path mode. The polygon mode allows you to measure perimeter and area. The polygon mode allows you to measure the perimeter and area of a polygonal shape. So if I just left click in the viewport now, it will allow me to draw out the segments of a polygon and we can see its dimensions displayed here. The circle mode will allow you to draw circles and measure their radius, area and circumference. If I click in the viewport, it's going to allow me to draw out a circle from its center point. This is a tool through which you can also draw circles in Google Earth. So if you create a circle measurement, you can then convert this to a path just by clicking on the save button. The last two modes, the 3D path and 3D polygon mode, allow you to measure 3D buildings. To demonstrate how this works, we have to first of all enable the 3D buildings layer under the layers panel. So I'm going to toggle that on. And now we have to navigate to an area where 3D buildings have been mapped. So these would usually be major cities. For example, if we navigate to New York City and zoom in, we can see that the 3D buildings here have also been mapped. So if we were to start with the 3D path mode and zoom into one of these buildings here, we can measure its height just by placing a point at the base of the building and then one at the top of the building. With the 3D polygon tool, we can measure the perimeter and area of a building. For example, let's say that we take this building here, we want to measure the area of the roof. I'm going to make a point at each corner of the roof and we can see the dimensions here. If we want to also check the height of the building using the 3D polygon tool, we can save this outline as a path. And then if we go under its altitude, we're going to get the maximum height here listed. And we can see that the height of this building is 165 meters relative to the ground. And so this covers it for using the ruler tool. Thank you for watching and see you in the next session.